was a little bit of Fanny Lumsden, and of course she's the 2021 Golden Guitar Female Artist of the Year off her album Fellow. Great to catch up with Dan Biddle, the chairman of the CMAA. Thanks for joining us, Dan, to discuss what's going to be a very, very exciting Tamworth in 2022. Thank you for having me. And yes, I mean, the whole country music industry is excited to get to Tamworth in January. And there have been a number of events happening in Queensland, of course. But for the rest of everyone in um, New South Wales, Tamworth will kind of be the kickoff, I guess. They say that it's uh, record entries for the 50th Golden Guitars. Uh, that must be very exciting as chairman. Over 760 entries, which is a record. And it just shows, I think, the strength in country music right now and the interest that's being put into it and there are so many new artists coming through i mean you must see it with all of the new releases that are coming through every week it's exciting but there's a lot going on what got you involved in music in the first place dan growing up in the 80s and um watching music on you know music tv videos and things like that but also my parents were very much into Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson and Glenn Campbell and things like that so it was just all of that interest came together and I just knew from a a young age that I wanted to work in the business side of it maybe because I wasn't a very good guitar player but genuinely I I just love helping artists uh, achieve their goals with their music. And the position of chairman, tell us about how you got involved. With the Country Music Association of Australia, the board members are elected by the members. So there's around 650 members of the CMAA, which is fantastic, and that's been growing as well. And so, you know, everyone who is a member is welcome to nominate to run for the board, and then it goes to an election by the members. And then once you are actually elected to the board, then there are these executive positions like the chair and vice chair and things like that. And then that's decided within the the board itself. So, yeah, I've been coming up to four years in that role with the CMAA. Well, it is the 50th event of Tamworth next year. What will a successful festival and a successful Golden Guitars look like to Dan Biddle? Well, I mean, a successful festival is that shows go ahead, they're packed, lots of ticket sales for the artists and for the venues, great media attendance and lots of fans having fun. That's the goal on on that side. And then on the awards side, I guess we like everything to run smoothly, everyone to have a good time and ultimately for the best music of the past 12 months to be recognised and celebrated. Being that it's the 50th awards, there will be some sort of retrospective look back at points through history, but really it's about recognising the great music from the last 12 months and then using that as a springboard to launch very successful 2022 for our industry. While we've got you on the line, it would be remiss of us to not uh, pick your brain a little bit for all of the young artists that are listening in. What's one piece of advice that you could give to them to help them on their way? Uh, There are so many pieces of advice and there is no one set blueprint for every artist, which is one of the exciting things for me. Everything's different, but ultimately know who you are know where you want to go to, practice, 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 and get great at your craft. And if you're a songwriter, then, you know, practice that as well. You don't have to be a great songwriter to be a great artist. You can be an entertainer and record other people's songs. Look at John Farnham, for instance. Most of the songs he recorded, he did not write. And so practice, 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 then do your research to find who are the appropriate people in the industry that could help your career, and then lay a plan for yourself to achieve different things, and don't be in too much of a hurry. Is that too much advice? Oh, I think any piece of gold advice that any of the young people can take on board, and anyone of any age, it's fantastic. Dan Biddle, yep. terrific to speak with you tonight. We started with Fanny Lumsden, the 2021 Female Artist of the Year, so we better go out with the Male Artist of the Year. This is Travis Collins and Wreck Me. Dan Biddle, thanks for your time. Thank you.